Welcome everybody. This is um, Clipping Heaven Dwellers. It is the 1st of September 2020. Woohoo! We've just been talking about art and how we have such creative abilities and some of it's latent and it needs to develop in us and uh, so we thought that we might even do some meetings where we will engage and, and, and be able to also create at the same time. Uh, do some artwork. But today, uh, we, we are open to continuing to go to, the, you know, into the circle of the deep where we went last time. However, we wanted to start somewhere uh, with you all. We just wanted to share a little bit about what we, what we felt um, we had been hearing from the Lord. And so, um, Dimitri, do you want to share first? Okay, I'll share. <laughs> All right, so, you know, as we just sort of engage with Father momentarily, we began to see something of his heart cry for us. And we, were, we endeavored to try and express it, but in actual fact, it, what it was is that Daddy wants to answer the desires of our heart. And Daddy wants to answer the desires of everyone's heart, whether they know him or whether they don't. And <clears throat> so what we realized was that he wants us to be able to express those desires to him to be clearly, clearly be able to express those desires. And he wants us to know that the angels are so ready to bring those answers. Um, his, his answers to us, the angels want to bring it. And so we have felt that we just maybe need to open up our hearts to this and just see what he wants to show us about the angels. Because lately we've been really been zeroed in on angels. And um, just to say that we have embraced uh, um, four sentinel angels that we were shown. Great grace, great peace, great love, and great help. And these four sentinel angels actually carry a, a, a team with them, huge teams with them. And they are um, shown to us right now because of the change that's happening and how Father's bringing us into the new era to facilitate that. And then we also had three other shown to us recently, great light, great favor, and great justice. And... So this is just to show that there, there, there's some angels that have been shown to us, but Father, I believe, wants to open up to us uh, so much more about the angels. So I thought that uh, Dimitri and I thought that we could start there, and he had a, a testimony to share. I don't know if you're ready to share it, D Dimitri. Uh, yeah, last night after we had our bench meeting, I was just sort of engaging further with the Lord and I got this incredible, I would say, illumination from the Lord of the reality of seeing the manifestation when it becomes so real that you're feeling as if it has already occurred and it's already transpired and you can see and feel and taste the um, the light of having received that which was the desire of your hearts. Right. So it was actually um, something that happened last night. And then as we were engaging this today before the meeting, it just, this is what came up, that the desire of Father's heart. So maybe let's just go straight into uh, Father's heart here and on this matter and just about the desires that he wants to give us these desires. And, and let's see what we are um, going to receive here. You all know to 
unmute when you have something to share. And we're just so happy on the journey that we are. Holy Spirit, we're so thankful that you're the one who's showing us these things. And we submit ourselves, spirit, soul, and body to you and to your government, Holy Spirit, as we just come together in the realms of heaven with Daddy to see and get an understanding of what his heart is for us so that we might appropriate it. Feel free to share as you see and hear and taste and feel we activate all five senses. And we're thankful that we are able to know all these things, Lord, as you desire to show to us today. Immediately, I was just uh, seeing that we were being surrounded by angels. Uh, with, while we were with Father, we're just experiencing the um, angels like uh, coming. And just I was sensing such a, a heart towards us of, of this desire to bless us and, and to show love to us. I began to hear the angels singing like a huge um, choir, if I can put it that way, um, just singing over us and with us. Yeah, I agree. I, that's what I was hearing. I was just hearing a great um, symphony sound, really, and just um, watching all these little kind of coloured light type angels just swirling around us very, very fast, um, constantly on the move. They've sort of got a great speed to them. Um, and I was just sort of engaging with what what they were about and it's like an acceleration um, that they're creating a frequency of the acceleration around us that's awesome uh, Zara. I also had seen 
that those swirling colors like you mentioned i feel like i heard them in just the like natural earthly realm as well actually it sounded like it was coming like i could hear them coming from the computer even well, it's interesting mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I had a sense that, you know, that uh, this is really sort of profound for us because I, I was seeing how some of the angels, had, they felt like that they've not had anything to do in a way, you know, because we hadn't understood just how they were to be involved and just what their mandates were and how that we could encourage them, how that we could strengthen them even in their mandates. And, um, and that they, they are waiting for us to do that. And we didn't realize that that was what we were to do. And that it was, the, the, and in the, the Father's heart is so to give us those desires and to give the desires to all those who, who don't even know him yet in the sense that they haven't awakened to who they really are and who he is. And yet they are crying out. And the cry of their heart he wants to meet it, but the angels are part of that. And we are part of facilitating these angels. So I was just saying, daddy, we don't want you, your, your, your answers to the cries of your children to not be met. You know, we want to agree with you that that's going to be a flood of change here. Yeah, you know, um, I can not just in this moment, but a few weeks ago, I was shown angels. It was like a a host of angels, a group of angels together in the sky. They had trumpets, like they were heralding the sounds. And I could now see where it correlates with what you're saying here. It was like they were releasing a sound. And I also can see um, the angels in the court of angels moving about, actually almost like in an agitation in a sense, because they're excited that we're getting that revelation and understanding that they want to fulfill mandates. They want to be active with us, working with us in carrying out the Father's heart and the desires that he has placed on our hearts as well, because they all become one and then outworking those mandates all over. Mm. Perfect. Mm. Now, as we were engaging, I was got the sense of going into the courts of angels but it was bathed in this absolute incredible bold light and presence and there was a myriad of angels all in front of me but right virtually in the center of this myriad of angels i was looking at i saw an angel and I asked who are you he said i am great helps and the myriad you see behind me are all those who are waiting mm for the sons of God to release them to do which they desire. Wow. Mm. Yes, exactly. Wow. And I'm, I'm just getting the, again, the confirmation that our father's heart to say to us, sons, listen, I want to give you the desires of your heart and I want to give my creation the desire of its heart and all those that are created. And in the sense of, you know, the cry of a person's heart, whatever, whatever that need is. And I, I hear the, 
father say, um, be free to understand that this is how the, the flow happens is just by expressing your desire. You don't have to qualify. You don't have to, you know, you know, say, well, I have to exercise my faith or this is not about our performance in order to get the promises, in order to get the Father to give us the desires of our heart. There's no, there's no formula, you know, there's no formula needed. This is just about understanding the Father's heart of love. And yeah, that really resonates with me because I was asked by the Father the other day, you know, what do you want? Mm. And whatever you want, just speak it. Mm. And it will be. And it's from that place of rest. Mm -hmm. As you said, there's no performance. There's no, I have to fast for 21 days or anything of like that. We're so far beyond that. Mm -hmm. And it's operating in our sonship to govern. And the angels are there to carry out whatever it is that we're speaking. Mm. And part of that too is to agree that the sons would realize that. And, and I think maybe we'll end up doing just an agreement uh, together governmentally that the sons would, that this would be released in revelation to the sons, that any ways we've been operating to try and get God to give us the desires of our heart, you know, will be gone out of the Ecclesia any longer. It won't be in part of the body of Christ. And yeah, and that we would find that simple place of understanding his heart to just give us the desires of our heart. Um, and I feel like part of why we haven't seen it again is because we haven't known the angels, but also because we've, we've done the works we thought we needed to do. Yeah, and for me too, um, I totally agree with that. He also wants us to bring the solutions. Right. To to the problems that we see mm. in our respective areas or countries. Yeah. Uh, and, and please understand me, not, I'm not speaking about politics at all. I'm way beyond. This is about governing from heaven. Absolutely. For humanity. As the Father would, would have us to be. And so everything else is like, utter nonsense, except hearing the Father's heart, mm -hmm. being at one with the Father's heart, and being that vessel that's in agreement with him to speak it, and working with the angels to bring it to pass. And this is why, you know, the angels that are given, that's their function. Right. So... Now that's that that's yeah. reason very much yeah. myself as well. Great favor is here to give us great favor. Great help is here to give us great help and so forth. That, and there's no struggle. We have to trust that we know when we speak, we're speaking from that place mm -hmm. of royalty of the sovereign sons of Yahweh. Mm -hmm. And our frequency, that's the flow. The flow is coming from within us as we're in him, we're connected in the heavenlies and out of that place we're speaking and we're creating and the angels work with us to, to, to bring it to pass. And so there's no struggle, there's no manipulating, there's no I have to get connected to this person or I have to go to that person. Mm. No. None of that's in it. And, I, you know, I also feel why it is that some in the body have really been feeling 
like their energy is low. And the reason is, is because he's been taking us into a higher dimension of rest, mm. work from the flow. Yeah. Whereas so many people still believe that they have to struggle, that they have to use the old system to survive mm -hmm. and to make their living. And you don't need it because the wealth that he wants to give us is this revelation that we can operate out of. Mm. That everything you need, everything you require, you already have. Yep. And when you understand it and you resonate with the frequency of what you're speaking, what, without any hesitation or doubt of not only performance, but of worth, am I good enough for that to happen? Am I all of these different qualifiers that are not necessary? Right. And it's just to be a son. Mm -hmm. And as a son, I create. Yes. Thanks, Atala. That's great. That's good. That's true. And I just wanted to say what I first. Jackie? Yes, I wanted to share what I was seeing at first. At first, I saw the earth, a globe, and it had different colors of blue on it. And then uh, as we started engaging with the angels, we were seated in a circle. Our backs are to the circle. And the angels are in front of us, all around, the, around each one of us. And the, then the globe was put inside the circle. And I also wanted to say that the father spoke to me this morning and said, you are royalty. Mm. Awesome. What did you say was put inside the circle? Um, the globe, the earth. The globe. The globe. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Jackie, as you said that, Jackie, about the globe being put in the center of the circle, I was just taken for a brief moment into the time beginnings when the Lord framed the circle of the earth in the heavens. And the word that, he, that came to me in that instant was, as I framed the earth in the circle of the heavens, from the beginning of time, so I've given you the authority over the earth from the beginning of time. Mm. Yeah, it's beautiful. Powerful. Mm. Mm. I think we maybe want to just go into what you shared, Jackie, and just see ourselves there and see what else we might get out of this, um, what you've just seen, just go there together and see ourselves sitting there. Mm. Yes, I believe God wants to take us into something there. What I'm getting is that right away is that everything is in Father's heart, you know, so the globe is in his heart, right? And we are in his heart and everyone on the in the globe, in the earth is in his heart. Everyone, everything is in him. And uh, so again, it just takes away the distance, the sense of distance. And even the idea that, you know, we're in heaven and we're going to release out of heaven into the earth when in actual fact in this in this what you're seeing us is that is that the globe is we're, be, we're being shown that it's in heaven you know that the earth is because in his heart so there's just no there's no separation
the impression I'm getting of us sitting in that circle with the globe in the midst of us is the impression that as as we release the Father's heart from ourselves and focus it on the different areas of the globe as it's arcing, we create the realm of heaven in the earth mm. and we bring down the heavenly Jerusalem in a new dimension. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just as you were speaking, um, I saw that as we're sitting there, that we're communicating. And then we looked down to the earth again. And then there were these beams of light, just small looking short ones connecting to others. And these were making connections to people on the earth. And I believe that's what you're saying is that bringing heaven to earth, that we're communicating it, it's, it's being sent, it's being done. I can't hear the words or anything, but then I see the action on the earth that it is being, whatever you want to call it, landed or uh, making contact connection with peoples on the earth. Interesting, I, what I was seeing as well as you were speaking there, Linda, was the, as the arc of light is striking the earth, I was seeing it becoming a portal and the angel, angelic host just pouring through the portal to establish the words that have been released. I can almost see this one particular one. I know others are happening around me, but I'm just focusing on this one, it seems, where that first light beam with the three beams came off of it, is that now it's like the light has come and it's kind of like opened up. So it came from the inside to the top side and it's like um, an awakening, it's like an expansion, it's like people are connecting with what has just come to them. They're connecting with it and they're sharing with each other. Like the awe and wonder. How far is the earth, the globe, from heaven? <laughs> it's not. Exactly. <laughs> mm. Yeah, what I see inside the globe is a chair. It's a very royal looking chair. There's no one sitting in the chair, but I also know that each of us is seated in the chair. Mm. And, and he's saying basically that as royalty governing, you're seated and you're governing over the globe, over the cosmos actually. Yeah. And um, that's, that's what I see. Mm. That's perfect. Mm. And it seems so naturally supernatural, you know, it just, mm -hmm. it just is. And yeah, the earth is not far from mm. where I'm seeing us look at it. It's almost like it is in that circle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and, and it, this is where everything just changes from our mindset, trying to put things into a logical conclusion, you know, um, when there is no distance and, and there is no separation and, there, and, and, 
and there and we're outside of time even though that we can make time and create time and we find ourselves in the father in his heart in in sitting on his seat with him sitting at his right hand in christ and we find ourselves in these places you know and it, and it's like this is this is the way of 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 heaven not the way of the carnal thinking mind the carnal mind doesn't compute our logical logical mind doesn't try to doesn't compute but the mysteries revealed to us through holy spirit that we actually are in this place of rest in father in the seat of governments with father and jesus and holy spirit in the middle of the globe that is in his heart where there is no separation or distance and yeah as you were speaking there i was seeing myself and all of us just becoming particle state again i was just seeing those lights you saw as angels flipping around as part of the particle state of the of creation and all of us being part of that particle state of father and everything just being one in mm -hmm. the of the years mm -hmm. when you said that dimitri i just saw such a swirling it was though we were just suddenly um you know being um you know in a whirlwind to get you know just just being drawn into a whirlwind together of this oneness this total oneness you know what i saw when you were speaking uh dimitri was like we were being wrapped around it's like he's just wrapping us like this revelation that we're walking in of the particles it was just like we were just being wrapped around wrapped mm -hmm. around moving around and then what happens is because the reality is there is no space and time except when he creates it to create something to be dealt with so even the whole reality of our existence as far as we see it is in time is concerned it's because we agreed to come to this space at this moment in order to speak to it Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes yes that's exactly it it's that, that's that being outside of time and space in mm. the full of the creative light mm. and what you saw in that world when michelle was like what I've been experiencing as I've become particle, it's like it is spinning at such incredible speeds and so interlinked with each other and amongst each other that nothing collides and nothing is out of harmony. Everything mm. is in total harmony. And with it is this divine frequency of love that one feels, senses, and hears all simultaneously. yes i i just sense yeshua mm. stepping into the space with us completely mm. and yeah. he's he's happy <laughs> it's yeah. like he's he's, he's <laughs> like i'm so enjoying that you guys are getting this yeah <laughs> i mean wow <laughs> yeah oh, i got that too mm -hmm. i can hear but not clearly, I don't hear the exact words that is going on, but from the earth with us here also and with the Father, we're all communicating and it's in language. It's, it's we're, I don't notice that our mouth is moving, but we are communicating and I'm hearing it, I'm not only here, but in the earth. Mm. We are communicating like telecommunicating or mm. tech con communicating. Mm. That's awesome. Mm. Mm -hmm.
<laughs> what came to me just now is like, you know, all this that we were taught in the past about the rapture, you know, and how we were going to escape into heaven. And, and, uh, and I, I just got happy because I was like, well, Lord, you've just shown us that you've raptured the whole earth anyway. <laughs> the whole globe's in heaven with you. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Oh, Father, your creation, you love it, all of it. Oh, I'm just getting a shiver saying, as this is imprinted into your understanding and your very being, release it and watch it manifest. Mm. I missed the first part of that. I just heard the release it. I'll repeat that. I saw Yeshua standing in front of me and he just said to me, as you're experiencing the imprinting and the impartation and infusing of what you're seeing right now, as you release it, you'll see the manifestation. Thank you. Okay, this kind of, so, uh, uh, so when I did that, I saw cosmically him put it up on a type of a screen, but yet it was see-through, and it was like, this is where you can come to get something from him. So it's like it's already there, and we're going to be communicating it through this all-knowing screen that has everything in it that's going to happen and has happened and we'll be able to interface with that and the, confirming something we saw the other day as well we saw the whole new tech of things going from the old when we were engaging the book of ages i actually saw us going from a book and an ancient scroll into this whole interface high-tech screen that one could see through mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so that it will say that again it's like um, as we were engaging the book of ages we were engaging the book of remembrance and the book of the ages and then you saw it go into a, a high tech. Can you explain that again, Dimitri? It was this high tech screen, you know, almost like a see through glass type of screen. Yeah. And things were coming up on it and flashing. And we would tap on something to seek an answer or a or um, we'd ask a question and tap on a spot on the screen and this high tech vision and picture would just flash up showing us the exact thing that, we were of, that was being spoken. And it was like the scrolls, the ancient scrolls were being brought into the high tech modern dimensions mm. of technology beyond where we are. Mm. Yeah, that's what I was seeing. It's a green screen for me but it's also in the cosmos, which is the deep, dark, blue, black, you know, and you can see that there are things, symbols, whatever there, and when you touch it, 
uh, I believe you could either see it right there or it would go right into you and it would just become activated. So it's like whatever technology we need for whatever, anything that would, that is to come, we would be able to know what to do as we interface with that. So it's like, uh, this is good. I can't do any better than that. <laughs> Wish I could draw. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, so that's like the expression of our full conscious being in the fullness of uh, the Kainos creation, you know, our being in its full, full function, full and perfect function. Yes. Because yes, it's uh, all knowledge and all everything is in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of, of anything that we desire or God has made or thought about. Mm -hmm. Limitless. Something else that's coming to me is that um, we've never really left heaven. That although we we agreed to come into you know our mother's womb, and we were knitted in our mother's womb, and um, and we came, we've come to establish heaven in the earth with the mandates. We've also never really left heaven because we're. As much as as much as we um, may um, let's let's look at Earth instead of heavens up there and Earth's down here. Let's just put them right within each other <laughs> um, to where the spatial thing is 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 going out of us because that spatial thing brought a sense of division a separation but it, but it was never in father's heart and he's never separated us from him it says that our, our, you know our our name is written in the palm of his hand he numbers the hairs on our head this isn't only for those who know him in terms of you know through engaging now this is those that haven't been engaging he numbers the hairs on their head you know, there's no separation. Yes, that's true because that was Yeshua's prayer. The priestly mm. prayer in John 17 that we would be echoed, we would be one. Yeah. As he is and the Father are one, yet they can appear individually, but they're always connected. Right. And these things are, in a way, a mystery, but in a way, they are just returning us to what is true. Thank you, God. Mm. And with the angels ministering and, and being, re being released to, to influence man, it's like the, the, the light of the love and truth 
is, is just like a like a canopy, like a, like an umbrella, uh, you know, embracing uh, man to bring us into the restoration, uh, so that we also facilitate the restoration of creation. As you were saying that, I was seeing the New Jerusalem in a whole different dimension. That everything is so one. But for years, we've looked at things as the earth and heaven as two separate entities, instead of seeing them in the multi dimensions of all being one in one another. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I am feeling so much joy. <laughs> oh. I love Father's sense of humor. I'm feeling this overwhelming sense of like I am just about to explode with this realization of the fullness of time, space, everything being captured inside of who I am in Christ and Christ in me. And suddenly the song comes drifting into my mind. Ground control to Major Tom. Ground control to Major Tom. <laughs> mm -hmm. I hadn't heard that song in a long time. I don't know that one. <laughs> mm. <laughs> you get it. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I'll get happy with you. <laughs> wow. You know what is to me too is, you know, the work by the sweat of the brow is 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 come to a completely end, a complete end. Well, in Christ, that's in the cross, that's what happened. It's like it was wiped out, but it's actually coming to a manifested reality that we that we don't work by the sweat of our brow. All of that. It's just like the, it was obliterated in the cross, but it's coming into a full manifestation. I agree. Mm. Wow. It's feeling the presence of the Lord so much, my body. Any others feeling that? Definitely. Mm. I'm also sensing that there are more people here than mm. us. We're together, mm. but there's other people that are uh, experiencing this and getting the truths from the Lord now. 
Mm. And it's uh, because it's like an expansion that uh, God does things multiple mm -hmm. ways. And I think he's doing multiple things even yeah. while we're here. Mm. Because here is here. It's here mm -hmm. in my living room and it's here in heaven. Mm -hmm. And uh, that I believe that's going to come together more. Mm -hmm. That we're going to sense and know when people are there. Mm -hmm. And God will allow us to have communications with them. Mm. And connections. Mm -hmm. I am in awe. All this year, the Father has been emphasizing quantum. And today we are engaging in Demise emphasizing quantum. Mm. Yep. This morning when I started work at a governmental news bulletin, I'm in IT. And the military are putting in large sums of investments into QIS, Quantum Information Systems. The sheer volume of changes that are going to occur in the natural will make our heads spin as we go into the reality in life of applying quantum. And of course, we all know it starts in the spiritual. Mm -hmm. And it's already, it has started. And it's, mm -hmm. it's coming forth in the natural just amazing. Yes. And the acceleration. <laughs> and I feel it. I feel like I am transporting and transfiguring and uh, I'm mm -hmm. in, I'm in a, I'm in a flux, flux, fluxation. I'm here, but I'm sensing the shifting and the moving mm -hmm. of going through the dimensions and, and through the, uh, you know what I'm saying? Mm. <laughs> Words. <laughs> Since I saw us going into the particle state, I've been sensing us flexing through different dimensions, different depths. And the sense I'm getting is that we as the as the sons of God are going to be blowing government and normal scientific thinking completely out of the water with the dimensions that are being released to us. Yeah. Mm hmm mm hmm mm hmm Yeah, because they wouldn't know the things they knew unless God made it. So they're mm -hmm. just finding it. Mm -hmm. But God said he would show us first. Mm -hmm. So I'm praying that he does show us first and he teaches us, you know, what he wants for us, what our part is as a, per, as a person, as a group, you know. <sighs> I have not seen or even heard that which he has laid up for those who love him. Mm. And those of us who love him and operate in those dimensions of love, we are going to see far greater and far deeper than those who are just seeking for the sake of of knowledge. That's right. Amen. Amen. Yes. Thank you for your love. Mm. And earlier I, I was seeing that, you know, just again, the Father's heart for the whole. You know, He so loved the world, right? <laughs> and um, what was coming to me was that. I was seeing like, yeah, when Father created, right? He spoke and it manifested. And, you know, when you create something, you might create, like we were talking earlier about creating a piece of artwork, right? Now, when you do that, there's, there's you are releasing energy, you are releasing emotion, you're releasing ideas, whatever it is that you're releasing in your creation. And then someone can look at it and say, wow, that's lovely. Um, and it can, it can appear as though 
there are two different things. There's you, and then there's that which you've created. But in actual fact, you exist in that creation that you created because your energy went into it, your thoughts went into it, your ideas went into it, your emotions went into it. You see what I'm saying? And so therefore, in the whole of all of Father's creation, he's in it. He, you, you can't, we can't really separate what he created from him. And I was seeing how, you know, we've understood that as sons, when we sit in our seat of heaven, we, we've also understood, like Ezekiel showed, the throne, that sapphire throne, and, um, and also how we've, un we've, we've um, you know, understood about the canopy of angels that are around the throne and the 10 levels of those canopy of those angels. And so with us too, I was seeing us sit in our seat, sitting in our seat with a canopy of angels around us. And then I was seeing every person that's ever been made, created, every person has their seat too with the canopy of angels. And Father just wants them to know this. Father just wants everyone to know who we are. He wants man to know our true, our true um, sonship altogether. And so when I was thinking about the New Jerusalem and how it says that they will come in, they will be drawn and tracted in, it's simply that what we have, what we have understood and the mysteries we've engaged and received, it's a, a, a beginner manifesting around our lives as attracting the others because it belongs to them too. And, and that, 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 that's the gospel really to say to them, you know what, you know, you have angels around you. You have a place in, in heaven. Heaven's not far, it's right here. And these kinds of things. And, and, and in a way, I see that like we've been so much about you know in the in the past with the with the with the level that we understood we were so much about the the, the seeming tussle between good and evil you know the fight the war the everything and trying to quell it trying to stop it trying to you know and, and instead of being able to to really see uh, you know what jesus fully accomplished for all mankind to be able to Express that and, and manifest that to others. So we all come, not until just the body of Christ all comes into the fullness, till we all come into nothing less than the standard heart of Christ's own perfection because he's the image of the true image of man. Well, that's what Ephesians 4.13 says, till we all, not just those in Christ, until we all come to the fullness of the stature of the fullness of Christ. Then we will all be in Christ. That, that's a powerful statement and a deep mystery because it's not just, as you're saying, all creation. Mm. You know, in the beginning, he created the worlds, mm -hmm. but he created us in his image so that we could take the message of the gospel of the kingdom mm -hmm. to all of those worlds. All right. And that's what it says, doesn't it? It says that we should preach, the gospel must be preached in the cosmos, basically. Is what it says. Yes. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah, that word, the, the word translated is this gospel must be preached in all the worlds. That word worlds there in the original Greek is cosmos. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the, the frequency that we're emitting is not just touching those in the earth. It is touching those in the cosmos mm -hmm. that are crying out, you know. Mm -hmm. Because I've seen, he's taken me to some places that are, uh, you know, the way that, because of my experience, let me put it this way, he's 
Show me places where there are worlds that are ready. And then there are worlds that are still further from receiving. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, mm -hmm. and it's just amazing. And, and the, the thing that I think we have to understand, they don't all look like us. Mm -hmm. No, they don't. But they're his creation mm -hmm. that belong to him. Mm -hmm. And will be given the same opportunity mm -hmm. to receive Yeshua. Mm -hmm. Wow. It's just amazing. Restored. Yeah. To be restored. Mm -hmm. mm. Because the thing is, everything has already been created. Mm -hmm. there's, some, there's nothing new. Everything has already been, so it was finished. It's just that they have to be, they have to, that veil mm. has to be removed so that it can be stepped in. That is, that is why we need to understand the fullness of entering into the Sabbath rest. Mm. It's from, it's from there that we release the rest of creation. Yeah, the end from the beginning to the, yes. Yes. the ages of the ages. I was wondering if we couldn't from this place um, just agree and release um, what Father showed us from his heart that, that um, you know, the desires of Father's heart to answer and release desires, but to release the answer to the cries of, of man. That we, we, we just said that the angels are right here with us and, and we're going into the mysteries. And at the same time, you know, the angels are, are wanting to draw all of them, draw everyone into the love of God. And if we could just maybe have some sort of a, I felt like some sort of agreement that we could agree upon governmentally just to um, agree for this, which has been shown to us um, about the angels being released uh, to where this canopy of light just will be released over man. And they would realize that their desires of their heart are being answered. The cries of their heart. I'm talking about that cry of man's heart that says, I don't know why I'm here. What am I doing here? My life is a misery, you know, out of that place of the lies that have kept man from the truth of the oneness, you know. Yeah. I believe... I agree with that. Mm. I believe it's not just for man. It's yeah. for the whole creation mm -hmm. is groaning for that manifestation of the sons to step into the mm. full Sabbath rest. Right. And mm -hmm. so they're all mm -hmm. groaning because I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm still trying to, un to mm. understand you know, that everything is a frequency and a vibration. Mm -hmm. So everyone is not in the same place. Yes. Okay. Mm. We're, we're actually in the same place, but not in the same space. Mm. Yes. We're, and, we're all in the same place. Yes. It's a different, the different frequency places in different dimensions. Exactly. Because the scripture says they're going to come to hear and to learn. Mm. And so I'm wondering mm -hmm. the people that have already physically left this dimension mm. who didn't enter in, what's happening with them? Where, where are... Mm -hmm. I don't even know how to word it. No, I know what you mean. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because they still exist. Yeah. 
there's still a frequency and a vibration. Mm -hmm. Still the spirit. <laughs> yeah, and we have we have some you know some of us have have been led to engage out of our um, our bloodlines. You know, right. Yeah, yeah. Into into those places. Um, but yeah, hmm. how should we do this then? Well, do we just release to all those that are crying out? Hmm. What I'm just sensing is just as a unified corporate group together, just releasing that great light of okay. revelation yeah. unto yeah. creation. Hmm. Yeah, I think that we can do that. We can release great light. We can agree for great light. And all those that are with the, the him, the angel, great light, for example, that we saw. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Upon the things that we've been shown, uh, that Father's heart wants to answer the cry, that we just release great light, agreeing that uh, great light would uh, carry out his purpose with those that are with and yeah and then also just uh, embrace all the angels and that they become people become aware of angels people become aware of the angels that are with them they become suddenly aware that there are angels helping them <laughs> you know <laughs> and, yeah you know it just came to me the angels were agitating when we first began Mm. to be used yeah to go into all of these places yeah and dimitri saw as it were a portal yeah so can we agree to send the angels into all of these places yes to answer the cries of people's hearts the yes of, and the desires of the deep desires true desires of their heart in the whole creation. Yes, and of all creation, yes. yes. Yeah. I agree with that. What do others think? What I, what I was seeing was, like when you were talking, Michelle, about um, you know, creating works of art and things, that when somebody creates a work of art, it's a self-portrait. It's something of themselves they're revealing in a, a language or a way that other people can see. And so each of one is, that one of us is Father's self portrait. And so I was just seeing that that every created being, whether they're in this dimension or in multiple dimensions, is a, a self portrait of Father in some way. And so um, what, what we're doing is sending the frequency of, of the love of that self portrait, if you like, to every being. <laughs> so, so it's just like that revelation that um, that we all belong to Father, we all are in his heart, we all have a meaning and a purpose and a, mm -hmm. and a place and, and I, I know um, I've had encounters recently where I've felt that Father's asking me to send the frequency mm -hmm. that great mercy and that great love and the restoration into beings in beyond the beyond because yes. they don't have hope and they haven't heard of grace and mercy so I understand that one and so I know we can send that and the angels can open up portals to send that across the multiverse um, and, and obviously in, into every person um, who has ever existed um, who, who always exists now um, it's just yeah just seeing it as a self-portrait is a revelation of something of God that each one of us mm. kind of helps us to well it helps me to <laughs> to frame it in some way um, mm -hmm. so. right hmm
I also I was thinking when you were sharing that, um, uh, Zoe, about you know this beauty of the reality that we are the portrait of each one as the created being has the very essence and various ways of Father in them, you know, and um, and uh, so. I forgot what I was going to say. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I remember now. Satel earlier was talking about when she saw the angels with the trumpets. Yes. Sing the sound. And so I wonder if we shouldn't just agree with that, um, and have and have the just agree that all the angels that would, would want to actually come and answer the cries, and release the frequencies, would be would be released. Help me here, guys. What else? How are we going to do this? Well, I mean, I think that's, that's the. I think it's. We disagree for the sound to be, the sound has already been heard and the mm. sound is being released because mm. we're coming in agreement for the sound as a governmental body mm. to release that sound throughout the earth realm into the cosmos that every being, every human being and every created being that is crying out, that is looking out, has been crying out to Yahweh that the angels are now released to carry that frequency. Yeah, and the frequency is, is, is the expression to man that the heart of their creator wants to bless them and answer their, answer their um, cry. That, yes. That's the frequency. It's that we're releasing the frequency of Father's heart when he said, I want you to know that I want the desires of, I want to answer the desires of the cry of my people and the cry of those I've created, you know, the whole of creation. And so we're, we're actually agreeing with the angels to be as to, to go forward in that. And we're actually agreeing that that's the frequency that the people are going to hear. God is real. God cares. God's a father. To me, he's my creator and he's answering my, my cry. And I don't have to, didn't have to strive. I didn't have to try and get to God. I'm just recognizing it. Wherever people are at, that they will hear according to the frequency where they are at, mm. the heart of God and the love he has for his creation. Mm. And that the great light mm -hmm. and the angelic realm that operates with great light shall bring forth a illumination into the minds and hearts of every human being and every being within the cosmos. Agreed. Yeah, there's a fragrance as well though and um, what's what I'm thinking about there's a fragrance that you know like have fragrance and memory it wakes you up to something you've known um, and brings it back and it's like this fragrance is mm -hmm. bringing back the remembrance and the truth and who we are and who whoever is the, the true essence of who they are so i'm just seeing this great release of the beautiful fragrance um, going with the sound Right. Yeah. And it's just not that they would return or hear the frequency of the Father's heart, they would hear the frequency of the Son. Yes. Yeah. Because everything must come, the Father desires everything to come back to him through the Son. Mm -hmm. Yes, through the design. It's that when the design. Have become the kingdoms of. Yes. Our Christ. Absolutely. And he returns them. Absolutely. So I was seeing this picture this whole time that we've been talking about this here for a few minutes. And it started out as a robe-like wave. So it was like a robe. So it was like 
but it was like lying across uh, above us or with us or whatever. And then it was ripples of it and then it grew and it extended. So as he was giving us revelation, this glory cloud of love and everything he's got from him to send is forming and getting bigger. And uh, it was like he was waiting for that to be unfurled and to grow like it's growing. And it's a beautiful, looks like a, a clear tap, tapestry of gold, but it was in ripples, just mm. very pretty, pretty and glorious. Mm. I saw other things with it, but it's hard to put mm. words on it. Wonderful. So just to then, let's just, uh, just to, um, to um, frame this up then, we'll just can say, Father, we, we're so thankful that we, we've just been shown so many things today and being with you and you, Yeshua, and you, Holy Spirit, and each other and the angels. And Father, we have agreed with you about your heart to give man and creation the, 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 the answers to the groanings. And Father, we are just so grateful that you have told us that the angels want to carry out their parts on this and release the frequency of this and release the, the light of it and um, carry out all kinds of, of purposes and to bring it into being. And we just want to say we agree with you and we agree for you angels to be released then. Amen. 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 That the word shall create and not return void. Mm. And we receive those angels around for us as well. And I just wanted to go um, just, and I know that there's so many, obviously, but I just wanted to um, agree you know, restate the angels of great grace, great peace, great love, great help, great light, great favor, and great justice. <laughs> and that's just some of you. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much, angels of God. We honor you. Thank you. We honor you. Yes. We receive you for us and for our family, for extended family, for the whole cosmos. We receive your function. We strengthen you. We agree with your mandate. And we say, carry it out. Michelle, as you were sharing that, of honoring this angel, I saw the seven angels that named the bench. And they were benched to the bench of the seven archangels. And they were all operating together. Yes. To the desires of the heart of God to man. Yes, I agree with that. And it's, and it's, that's the frequency. That's the, the frequency. It's the fragrance and all the things that we, we, we talked about. Yeah. Amen. Wonderful. And with it, I thought again that those seven vats of oil that I mentioned, I don't know where it was to each group, but I saw the fragrances of the seven oils and the seven vats of oil and the releasing of a fresh release of anointing um, that, the, that the concept of the Christ life, the anointed ones, can be released across the earth. Wow. And I'll just name those the oil of joy, the oil of healing, the oil of refreshing, the oil of rejuvenation, the oil of union, the oil of consecration, 
and the oil of anointing that destroys yokes and removes burdens. Mm. Powerful, yes. Thank you. Thank you so much, everyone. Do you feel complete? Yes. Yes. I just got to put a piece over me. Mm. Mm -hmm. Full, full, fullness. Oh.